Hi, everybody. Kevin Longquist here from Sikkim Sports, the publisher of the Rivals uh, Baylor affiliate here with the newest member of the Baylor 2019 class in San Antonio J uh, quarterback, uh, Jacob Zeno. And Jacob, first of all, congratulations to you on making this decision. Um, let's talk a little bit about as far as the final couple of weeks it, that led you in the direction uh, coming to Waco. What really what really centered it on the Bears for you? Well, these past couple of weeks have been hard um, deciding where I'm going to actually go. But um, I talked with Coach Fran and Coach Thomas, and then uh, I've been talking with Coach Rule, and um, I just felt like that was the best place for me. Um, you know, everything my, my dad talks about and then still is in me, uh, I feel like Coach Rule, uh, they, they're going to do the same thing. And so um, that's really what pulled me to Baylor. Let's talk a little bit about the, the first start of your recruiting process because I think a lot of people felt like Texas Tech was the early leader for you. And Baylor was, if you will, not one of your first offers. They came, they came in a little bit later. But there seemed to be a connection every time you got to see the staff, especially during uh, spring football uh, workouts. I know you went to the first one back on March 15th, and then you made two other visits. But how did that relationship kind of develop with Baylor to where they obviously overtook Texas Tech and where other schools that might have offered you, like NC State and Georgia, where there seemed to be this connection between you and the staff. Talk about that. Um, it's kind of a weird thing because um, it was just a natural, a natural connection uh, from the start. Uh, I feel like Coach Thomas and uh, Coach Rule, we just clicked naturally. And um, ever since then, you know, it's been history. Uh, the relationship with Glenn Thomas. So the one thing that I know that you've talked about, you talked to my colleague, Matt Claire about this, but you've said this to me as well, is the fact that every time that you've talked to Glenn, that there was something uh, instructional that you took from it, you know, uh, something that you take away from every conversation that maybe helps you become a better quarterback, understanding the difference, the nuances of the game. What's that been like getting to know Glenn in terms of him trying to teach you while he's also recruiting you? Uh, it's been great because uh, it shows me that um, if he's doing this over the phone, that when I get to Baylor, uh, it's going to be much better. And uh, I'm going to be able to sit down with him almost 24 hours a day and uh, actually, you know, install it and, and learn what he's telling me on the phone. So uh, it's going to be good. Uh, as far as, you know, was there a moment where you can recall that you can go back on and say, and this is when Baylor became your leader. Can you recall that? Um, I would say the first time I stepped on Baylor campus. How so? What what happened that day? Uh, so I went up for a junior day, and um, I felt the love that all the coaches were giving me. And um, I met with Coach Thomas. You know, we uh, he showed me plays, and he showed me different coverages. And I got to meet with uh, Coach Rule. And um, I sat down. He talked to me. And... Um, it was really good. That's when I, I really uh, got my connection. Uh, you pro style quarterback, although some can also look at you as a dual threat. Just for the for folks who don't who may have seen your films, film clips, and that doesn't tell the whole story about you. But just kind of talk about your game, what you bring to the table, and hope what how you hope that will translate from Jay to Baylor in the coming years. Uh, I'm a quarterback that can make every throw. Um, I'm a good leader. I lead all and off the field, and uh, I feel like that's what people like about me. That's how I lead my team so well. And, um, you know, it, I just, I can do everything. I can run, I can throw. Uh, I'm a student of the game. So I like studying defenses and um, knowing what the other team's going to do almost like chess. So I feel like that's what I bring to the game. So you want to try and bring checkmate every time then, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. So let's talk a little bit about, because you had a really great, you know, you went to our rivals camp series event down in Houston a couple months ago. Uh, you obviously performed well in the opening where you got that invitation to the uh, championships uh, out in Redondo Beach, California. That'll be next week, June 1st through the 3rd. Um, that's a great honor for you to do that. Uh, but talk about what you felt like you accomplished and what you hope to get out of that uh, experience out there next week in California. Um, all I needed was a shot, and I feel like I got my shot. And uh, now I'm going to show everybody in the world that uh, I'm the best quarterback in the nation. As far as, you know, I know that you had a great visit to NC State a couple weeks ago, and it sounded like they really made a great push for you. But when you – is the is one of the main factors, though, is the fact – it is Baylor's closer, about 150 miles away, and obviously NC State's a little bit of a hike to get out there. But 
Uh, was that maybe the if did it really come down to Baylor and NC State or was this Baylor and then everyone else kind of had to make a run kind of like what NC State had to do a couple weeks ago? Um, no, sir. It was really uh, Baylor and NC State. So uh, these past couple weeks, I was dealing with um, which way to go. So I slept on it, prayed on it, and then uh, I woke up one morning and said, that "I'm gonna go to Baylor." When you made when you made this announcement on on Thursday evening, did it feel like there was a it was kind of like you had something a release something you got to finally got something off your chest that it's kind of like this is finally over. I know where I want to go and that sort of thing. Or what was it like for you to do that? Yes, sir. It was a big release. Um, now it feels like I just really focus on the football season and um, the lead 11 that's coming up because um, the whole recruiting passes, it was stressful. I'm not going to lie. It was it was real stressful. And um, with this being out of the way, uh, it's a big relief. Now you, you, you had said that you wanted to make this decision over the summer, but obviously it, you're making it a little bit earlier than that. But I, I would have to think, though, the fact that you've gotten this out of the way and, of course, you get to – you get to go out to the Elite 11 championships, and then you've kind of got the rest of the summer. For How do you want to play the rest of the summer? What's going to be important for you to kind of work on some things in your game as you move forward here? Um, I'm going to continue to study defenses, and um, I'm going to make sure my footwork is on point, and um, I'm going to get in the lab with uh, my quarterback, Coach Jeff Blake, and we're going to tweak a little things with my throwing motion still, and uh, that's really what I plan to do this summer. And for those who uh, play 7-on-7 seven seven with my uh, school team. Sorry to interrupt you. And we, for those who don't know, Jeff Blake, who uh, lives, uh, I think, in the greater Austin area, uh, you got to know him about a, uh, several months ago, and you've been working with him ever since. Jay, uh, Jeff was uh, about a 10-year quarterback in the NFL. He made his name with the Cincinnati Bengals. And I remember when you and I talked about him, uh, how much of a difference he's made. What can you point to since the last couple of months, since the last time we talked about him, what he's changed in your game and what he's helped in your game? So when I went to Jeff um... – about two years ago, um, my throwing motion was big. It was a big windup. Uh, my footwork was kind of messed up. But um, within about a month, he changed all of that. And uh, it really showed this past season uh, with my shorter, my shorter um, throwing motion. And uh, it made me more accurate, too, on a lot of my balls. Okay. So he really helped me. Uh, as far as uh, it sounds like, too, that you're making every effort to try and graduate in December, get enrolled at Baylor uh, by January of next year. Can you talk about where you're at in that process and what you have to do in order to attain that goal? Uh, yes, sir. So right now um, I have to take an English four during the summer. And uh, that's all that I know really right now. Uh, I might have to take a math, but I'm not sure. OK, so summer school for you, even though you didn't get in trouble. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, uh, it's a great moment for you. It's a great moment for this program because the fact that they get their quarterback. That they, and the one thing I've known about Baylor coaches is that when they kind of lock on to a player, it's kind of like just, a, if you will, I mean, in the best possible way, where it's kind of a dive bombing effect where everyone comes in there and, and communicates with you and, and reaches out to you. It's not just your recruiting coach and maybe the head coach, but it's the whole uh, coaching staff that comes in that have an impact on you as well because I'm sure that happened to you yes sir it did because Baylor was the only school that every coach on the coaching staff knew me talked to me uh texted me every day called me you know no other school did that and uh, that was another reason why uh I got drawn to Baylor all right and then here you are the uh Baylor's uh, quarterback for uh, twenty nine for the twenty nineteen class this is commitment number eight for uh, the Baylor Bears and that is the uh, quarterback from San Antonio, Jay Jacob Zeno. Congratulations to you, Jacob, and we'll look forward to tracking your progress throughout the course of the 2018 season. One more to go at Jay High School. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you. All right, that's Jacob Zeno, everybody. We hope that you enjoyed our uh, thanks to technology, the use of uh, Google Hangouts to have this uh, conversation with Jacob Zeno, and we will talk to you all next time on Sikkim Sports.